Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Get this out here. Um, in preparation for this very event, and that was like two years ago, um, <coughs> almost three years ago, I I sent over two of these. I can only find one of them. Uh, this is just a, a cigarette lighter, an aftermarket electric cigarette lighter. Now even though I smoke I don't care one way or another whether or not I have a, a cigarette lighter in the van here. But what I do want is a secondary power source. They sell these little gadgets that plug into one of these. Uh, just let, you know they're the same size as this but instead of having a little knob on it here it has ports uh, so you can charge your gadgets either your cell phone or your laptop or your tablet or whatever and uh, Tata had this stashed I guess that's why I couldn't find it I guess that's what the story is so anyway uh, it's been located and uh, I had thought there was a keeper on the other end of this I don't know exactly how we're gonna get it mounted in there you know, if you, anyone has ever put in a toggle switch, there's uh, a keeper on the far side. This one doesn't seem to have one. I have had it apart here. Uh, this does come apart here. And maybe that's how we'll have to do it. But we're going to drill a hole in the dash right here. And we're going to mount this. Yeah, that's fine, Tata. And for all those of you saying, oh, we've got to use a great big, huge wire, uh, bigger wire is always better. But this stock, this is the stock wire that came with it. And this is maybe 16, maybe 16 gauge. Uh, even though electric cigarette lighters do take a lot of power, uh, 30 amps or so, it's just intermittent. It's only for 5 or 10 seconds. So it's not a long enough large power draw to get your wires hot. Now, in like five minutes, uh, it would it would seriously challenge the, the size of these wires. But just for 10 or 20 seconds, and no problem at all. And this is rarely, if ever, going to be used as a cigarette lighter per se. It's only going to be used as a charger. And you're only talking one amp, maybe, using it for a charger. So uh, there's no danger in the size of the wire. So we're going to get to see if we can what we can do to get this mounted. I'm going to use one of these step drills. I love these step drills. Uh, basically, ten sizes of drill in one. So we're going to drill this hole here. It's easy to access back in the back. Uh, I'll just take the glove compartment off. Uh, it'll be easy enough to wire. There's wires right down there that we can we can pony into. There's wires right here we can pony into. Uh, it'll be a pretty easy setup. So we're going to get on it. All right, well, we got our hole in. Probably just should, if I was real good at this, I would have shown you the hole right when we got it done. But the step drill worked just fine. Any of them? Yeah, I think either way is fine, Tata. And this is how it plugs in here. We're going to use the, uh, the wires coming from the blower. I don't think polarity is important on this. I think this is it's just a it's just basically a dead short, that's how it works. Uh, we'll soon find out. But I've been wanting to have, I've been wanting to do this for two years. If I had if I had found these and gotten around to doing it, the little dash heater that I got. I got a little the little heater that goes in the dash. These when they're these all these multi cabs when they're converted over, even the ones with aircon uh, and have the working blower and all that, it only blows out for the aircon. The dash, the defroster in the dash is never hooked up and it never works. So if you're driving along in the rain your windshield fogs up. 
And so when I went back to the States, before I came back here the last time, I sent two of these here and one of those little in-dash or dash mounted uh, defroster blowers so that uh, could dispense with having to wipe your windshield off all the time. But I never did get this hooked up and to save a, to save a hatch one time I, I uh, took the the male end off of that blower and just hooked it direct to a battery so that I could use it as a power source for an incubator one time. And so, regardless, it, w it wouldn't work now because I, the, the rats had chewed up the other end. But I'd also wanted to dual purpose it as a charger for our gadgets. And this, uh, we, we don't have one of those adapters right at the moment, but you can get them in town. I think they're like 500 pesos. Uh, they plug right in, and then you can, you can put your, plug your devices right into that, and you have uh, onboard charging. Tata and I are trying to keep from uh, blowing ourselves up here. I've never installed one of these, but uh, I would imagine the polarity is not a real big deal. I'm just thinking though, putting it there, probably the fan motor will probably have to be on. Yeah, you can hook them into the ignition, so it only works with the ignition. You can direct wire them. There's all different kind of ways you can do it. I just wanted a nice short run to wherever we were going to hook it to. Oh, all right, so he's got it there. So, now what did I do with it? Mm. What did I do with the business end, Tante? There it is. I put it up in there where it's usually going to go. It only takes a couple seconds. Uh, we'll see if I'm going to have to have the key on. Now that should be long enough for it to get hot enough to the touch. And there was nothing. So, I'm going to turn the key on. The lowest fan setting. Nope. And it's still not working. And I can hear from the blower motor that it's not taking power. So we've got to rewire that somehow. It's not uh, not hot. So I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know what we got to do, Tatai, but we, we've got to figure something out here. So let's, let's disconnect it. Let's disconnect this. Here, here, hold the unit in the back. No, hold, hold the, the main part in the back. Hold, hold this. Okay. I'm going to disassemble. Okay, pull this down. You know, it may be, Tatai, that uh, we need to wire here. Ground? Ground, maybe. I'm not sure. But we need, we, 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 this may be the ground here, and this could be just a light yeah. or something, who knows. We put the ground on this. Yeah, we can go and ground directly yeah. to the frame. I'm sure one of these others would be a hot, so maybe we just don't have it grounded. This is a plastic dash. In fact, I can tell you which one is hot. This is the hot right here. And it is, did we get lucky? You know what, Tatai, before we do that, let's Let's change the wires. Let's, let's change because I know this. I know this has. I know this is the hot wire. This one and this one is this one, and it goes through here, and we've got it hooked Small. to the hot wire. It is hooked to the hot wire. So, which is this? Uh, no, 
let's just uh, let's just hook up a ground wire and see if that works. We'll just troubleshoot here until we get it until we get something figured out. Yeah, we just needed a ground wire on it. So it even has, even has a pretty little light in it. Look at that. And it's hooked to the ignition. I did test it. I did slightly burn my finger. <laughs> uh, I'll let it pop out on its own. It's automatic. We'll see if it's going to work good enough to... And make sure these wires aren't getting too hot. Yeah, it's hot enough to light a cigarette. The engines are not running, so the voltage isn't really high. But that's got me, that's strange, Tatai. When you push in on the, <laughs> when you push in the lighter, the blower comes on. So yeah, that's just the way we've got it. We've got it wired in on the low speed. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna actually start the van and leave it running long enough for it to pop itself. Tell, tell them to go around that way, Tate. Yeah, the delivery's here for all our materials. Regardless, it's, ne it's never gonna be used as a cigarette lighter anyway. And it's almost red hot. Then get it over here. Uh, you can see where I burned my finger on it already there. It's, it's hot, it works. So, uh, mission accomplished on this. It's good enough. It's satisfactory. The light goes off with the ignition is off. And that thing's hot. So yeah, it works just fine. I'm pleased with it. I'm just gonna leave this out because rare, rare, well, I'll leave it in there until we can get uh, another adapter for it. So mission accomplished there. Glove box back in, which usually takes two hands. Get all this wiring up out of the way. See if I can get this glove box back in with one hand. I doubt it. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone. Please like. Comment, share, and subscribe.